Hello guys, this is Brian Mounts from TurfMechanic.com. Today I want to talk to you about how to keep your grass looking green and healthy all through the summer, even when it's extremely hot and super dry. I don't water my grass every day, so let's talk about the two main things that I do to keep this looking good during the heat of summer. In the middle of the summer, especially up north, we're running cold season grasses and those grasses don't like the heat. Now down south, you're probably growing grass in the lawn that actually likes the heat. So this video may or may not be applicable to you guys, but certainly up north, this makes a big difference. So here in my lawn, I got Kentucky bluegrass and perennial rye. Both of these grasses need water regularly during the summer heat. I mean, the summer heat just sucks the life out of them. Now, your tall fescues, those are going to be a little bit more drought tolerant, but even them, they're still going to suffer during high heat and drought conditions. So what I do on my lawn is twofold, two, two main things. The first thing is I water the grass at dawn. Now, I have three zones. Three zones means I could do one zone, and then two, and then three. That means only one of them is getting, getting watered at dawn. The last ones are getting watered later in the morning. Ideally, you would be watering each zone at dawn on a different day of the week. So for me, in the month of June and July, my son, my son, your son, the sun comes up at about 4.45 in the morning. By August, it's closer to 5.15 to 5.30. So at this time of year, I set my sprinkler zone one to go off at 4.30 in the morning. That way, when it's done, the sun is up and I'm still asleep in bed. Zone two will go off the next morning, also at 4.30 in the morning. And then the next day, zone three will go off, also at 4.30 in the morning. That ensures that all parts of my lawn get watered one time a week at dawn, like true dawn. I don't have to worry about my grass blades staying wet too long and uh, the allowing fungal disease to take a hold because by the time the watering cycle is done, the sun is up and the heat comes and it dries off the grass blades really, really quick. We want a dry lawn or a dry grass leaf canopy throughout the entire day as much as possible, but we want the soil itself to stay moist. So that's why we do it. First thing in the morning, the soil is the coolest because it's the coolest part of the day. The sun is uh, not intense because it's just rising. So we're not gonna have evaporative loss uh, quite the same as we do any other point during the day. Uh, so the water that hits the soil is going to more easily get deeper into the soil. So even if you put water down now, uh, versus later in the day, the water that you put down early in the morning, more of it is going to go deeper into the ground than it is later in the day. It's a better use of water. The second main thing that I do to retain moisture in the soil is to use a product called Hydratain. 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 It's Hydratain. It retains water. Hydra? I don't know. This is a... <laughs> I don't know, honestly, if this is organic or not. It doesn't say it's organic, but it does say it's a biodegradable blend of food grade stuff. You can use this in the vegetable garden. Um, it's not like a chemical. Uh, it's not, there's no risk of this. I mean, I'm not gonna drink it or anything like that, but you could put it in the vegetable garden and grow vegetables and eat them, it's fine. So in the lawn, in my opinion, it's got to be even healthier because we're not even eating the grass. We just roll around in it and play in it. The point here is the material that's in this, which is proprietary, by the way, so don't really ask me exactly what's in it. I don't know. It doesn't say. There's not an ingredient list. But what I do know is that it works. What this stuff does is you put it down on the lawn. I put, I could just connect the hose to it, turn the hose on and spray it on the lawn. And then you water it in to get it down into the soil. Basically it allows the soil to suck moisture into it. Kind of like uh, like a surfactant might help uh, with water penetration, but it also holds on to it. That's the retain part of it. It will actually hold on to it. So in a hot, sunny summer day, especially in like a not humid day, an opposite of humid day, a dry day, 
the hot sun basically evaporates, just sucking moisture out of the, the soil. Now imagine that, that water is there in the soil saying, take me away. But imagine if the soil was grabbing onto it and holding it back and saying, no way, I'm not going to let go. That is what this does. Obviously, that's layman terms, uh, layman's terms. There's science behind it. I am not a strong enough scientist to describe exactly how this happens. So forgive me on that front. But what I do know is if there was little people in the dirt holding on to the moisture and saying, no, 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 I'm not going to let you evaporate, that's what this product does. Now, in the spring, I water my lawn every seven to eight days. In the fall, I also water my lawn every seven to eight days. We have reliable dryness where I live during the summer. During the winter, we get lots of rain and snow. But in the summer, it's dry and sunny most of the time. So when my lawn gets water, it's when I give it water. I give it a very regular, uh, regular dose of water. And I don't want to give it water very often. And I don't recommend you guys give your lawns water every day or every other day either. Giving your lawns water too often is just a waste of water. And it also helps disease take hold in the grass blades of your lawn. Like, you don't want that. Um, I personally don't even use fungicides because they are not good for uh, the beneficial fungi that's in the soil itself. So I care about all of this stuff. Every seven to eight days I water. But in the summer, if I wasn't using this and I was watering in the afternoon, I'd probably have to water the lawn like every day or two. If I'm watering at dawn, I can probably get by by watering every three to four days. And I, when I use this, and here's the kicker, I only use it once. So this one bottle I sprayed on my lawn yesterday, I use it once. I'm not going to have to spray it on the lawn again until next summer. It's a three-month window. So you apply this once every three months. I don't need it more than one time a year. It's just summer that it's important. So I spray it on the lawn, and it helps retain water in the soil so I don't even have to water every four days. I can still water my lawn in 95 to 100 degree weather every six to seven days. We're talking I can still stay on that once a week schedule even when the conditions are extreme. That's important because it minimizes water waste and it lowers the threat of fungal disease in my lawn and it keeps everything green and healthy so that my kids and my family, my chickens and me, we can all enjoy our time in the lawn. When a lawn is green during the summer, that means we can all spend time in the lawn and we're not gonna kill it. So as it goes dormant, it's fine. It's going dormant, summer dormancy. If it's dry and hot and it just goes brown, it's gonna be fine unless you're just on it all the time. If you're on it all the time and it's like brown and crispy, then you start damaging like the grass stems and the grass crowns. And eventually you're gonna start getting bare spots that don't come back in the fall. I don't want that. I want my grass to be green so that I don't have to fix it in the fall. So I don't have to fix it next year. I want it to stay green, but I don't want to overwater it. If you, by the way, if you do choose to spray this, it comes out kind of in this like sudsy, kind of liquefied sudsy thing. It's probably a surfactant sort of element to it, almost like a soap kind of a thing. And it comes out of this bottle very, very quickly. So if you want to actually do the low dose 2,500, a square foot for half of the bottle, then you really got to be booking it around the yard because it comes out pretty quick. I did the whole bottle on my 2,500 square foot yard and I still missed a chunk over there just because I was dealing with hoses as, we're, as I'm running around like swing sets and slides and whatnot. So uh, there are other versions of this. You can get like a big bottle and put it into a sprayer so it comes out a little slower if that's your thing. But there are granular forms. There are other brands that make similar kinds of uh, water retaining uh, products. Anyway, I have a link to my website down below where I kind of go into some of those other alternatives. And you don't need any of these either at all. Um, if you just stick with the early morning watering, that's going to be enormously better than just watering later in the morning. I mean, watering at nine o'clock in the morning is still significantly worse than watering at five o'clock in the morning. It just is. You're going to have to be watering it far more often if you're waiting till nine in the morning. That tip alone should get you through the summer 
and save you water, save you water and keep your grass green. But if you want to save even more water and have even less problems of any kind whatsoever, then spending a little bit of money on a product like this is going to go a long way. I've got lots of other material on this channel all about lawn care. You don't need to be a lawn care enthusiast to use this product. This is literally just an environmentally friendly product. Put it on the lawn, keep your grass green, keep it growing. I mean, I'm not gonna go into carbon sequestration here, <laughs> but I could. Um, a green growing lawn sequesters carbon. Uh, it's good for the environment to have a lawn green, but we don't wanna be wasteful with water. So that's why I use this product. That's why I recommend you take all this, all the reasonable steps necessary to limit your water usage in the middle of summer, but you can still keep your grass green.